Hey you guys, what's up? My name's Jason and today I'm going to be taking you through a tutorial on how to create some really cool 2D game assets for your games. Before we jump in, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend McCoy Buck. He has an awesome YouTube channel on how to animate characters. So if you're interested in character design and animation, click on this link right here and that'll take you to his channel and he uses a software called Moho, which is fantastic for animating characters. So definitely check him out, he's a really cool dude. Now let's go ahead and jump right in and get started with this tutorial. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a horizon line and then we're going to create two perspective lines and we're going to start creating a rectangular cube in two point perspective. This is going to be the base for our treasure chest. So as you can see, once I've made the four perspective lines, I make the vertical lines that make up the corner and the two edges of our chest. And now I'm adding in these diagonal lines to start shaping out our chest. Then I'm gonna add in this line right there to give it some more perspective. Same with the other side. And then I'm gonna carve in just a little bit to give our chest a little bit more of an interesting shape. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start erasing away some of these lines so that we can get a better idea of what the shape of our chest is. Now, this is just going to be sort of the base shape for our chest, so it doesn't have to look perfect. We just wanna make sure that the lines are there and the perspective is there. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and move down to my next layer, or up to the next layer, and I'm gonna erase away this area also. The only reason why I'm erasing this away is to get a better idea of where my shape is. I'm gonna crop it now so that we don't have all this wasted empty space. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use my lasso tool to trace out my shape. So I'll click at each corner of my shape. Then I'm gonna color that in with a brown. So somewhere in here, about there should be good, hit OK, and then we'll fill that in. So now we have our base color. Next, what I want to do is I want to start drawing out the shape of our metal pieces. So I'm going to start with the bottom and making sure I stay in the correct perspective. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with a gray. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create a second shape right along this top edge. This is going to be my highlight edge. And once I reconnect this, what I'm gonna do is I'll add a new layer, and then I'm going to drag that layer underneath, and I'm gonna fill that in with a really light gray, like so. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the top of our chest. So I'm gonna come back up to my top layer. Then using my lasso tool, I'll draw that shape out again making sure that this time the line becomes a little bit straighter, a little bit more to the perspective or the horizontal line because the higher up it goes, the perspective on it is going to change. Then we can go ahead and fill that in with our darker gray. And now I'm gonna do like I did before and create a highlight edge. So switching down to my bottom layer, I'm gonna go ahead and draw that shape in Then we'll reconnect that, select our light gray color, then we'll fill that in. Perfect. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a lock on our chest. So I'm gonna draw that out with my lasso tool, 
and I've switched over to my darker gray layer. I'm gonna select that color and fill it in. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add a shadow edge to this shape. So I'm gonna come down to my highlight layer and I'm gonna draw out a edge just like I would do if I was creating a highlight. But this time I'm gonna fill it in with a dark gray color. It's a little bit too light, so I'm gonna go ahead and darken that. Great. Next, I'm gonna switch over to the color black. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create our keyhole. So using my brush tool, make sure you're on a hard edged brush. I'm gonna go ahead and paint in a circle like so. Then using my marquee tool, I'm gonna go ahead and create the bottom part of my keyhole by creating a rectangular shape and filling that in. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and select this using my marquee tool. And then I'm gonna copy this by hitting Control C on my keyboard or Command C if you're on a Mac. Now with this copy underneath, I'm gonna go ahead and lighten it by using the hue and saturation. Then I'm gonna go ahead and merge those two layers together. Then using my transform tool, I can go ahead and shrink that down, then right click. And that'll take me to my distort. And then I can drag that those corners around to line it up with my perspective. And I'll hit enter to solidify that. All right, looking pretty good. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the metal bands that span across the sides and the top. So just like I did with the vertical bands or the horizontal bands, I'm gonna go ahead and use my lasso tool to trace those in. And I'm gonna start with my edge. So I'm gonna make this pretty thin and we want it to appear like it's going over the edge. Go ahead and follow back all the way to the other side. And then we can go ahead and fill that in with our lighter gray color. And we wanna make sure this is on a new layer beneath our other metal bands. Then I'm gonna go ahead and select that, copy it, and drag it over like so. Then using my transform tool, I'll shrink that down. And then I just wanna get this lined up with my chest so it fits our perspective. Great. Then I'll nudge it into place using my arrow keys on my keyboard. Once you get that in place, we can go ahead and add in the darker gray part of the span. So I'll add a new layer underneath that. And using my lasso tool, I'll just go ahead and draw that in. Make sure that you stay in the center of your highlight color. Then we'll go ahead and fill that in with our dark gray. And let's do the same thing for the other side. So just draw that in using your lasso tool. Remember to stay within the middle of your highlight line. Then we'll fill that in. Great. Next, let's go ahead and take these layers and merge them together. Then we're gonna take our top layers and merge those together. You merge them by selecting both of them, then right clicking and hitting merge. Whoops, we missed a layer. Let's go ahead and select that layer we missed and merge that with it. So now that's all one layer. Now we're gonna go ahead and select this layer by hitting control and then hitting the thumbnail on that layer. And then we're gonna fill that in with the color black on a new layer. Then we can nudge that down. So now we have this nice shadow. Then I'm gonna bring down the opacity like so. About there should be good. And then using my eraser, I'm gonna go ahead and erase away any edges that are hanging over the edge of the wood part of our trunk. Make sure you're on a hard edged brush. And then I'm gonna erase away at the bottom here. We don't want the shadow there. We just want it on the top part of our trunk. All right, looking good. Next, what we wanna do is we want to create a new document. 
I'm going to make this 500 pixels by 400 pixels. And what we're going to do with this new document is we're going to create a wood grain texture for our wooden trunk. So I'm going to come into my yellows, come up to a really light yellow, almost a white. Then I'm going to go ahead and shrink my brush size down, add a new layer, and I'm going to start drawing in my wood grain. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, it can be very organic. I'm going to change my background color to the color gray, just so you can see my wood grain pattern a little bit better. So I'll fill that in, come back up to this layer, and finish drawing in my wood grain. Now if you don't know what wood grain looks like, you can go ahead and look at reference photos and copy those. Now you can spend way more time on this texture, but just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to try to keep it quick. Then I'm going to copy this layer by hitting Control J on my keyboard or Command J if you're on a Mac. And then we can grab that and bring it up. I'm going to nudge it up a few pixels with my arrow keys. Then I'm going to bring up my hue and saturation by hitting Control U on my keyboard or Command U on your Mac. And I'm going to bring the darkness down all the way so it becomes a black. I'll hit OK. And then we're going to merge these two layers together. Now let's go ahead and select that layer, copy it, and paste it into our chest document. I'm going to bring that down just above my base colored layer. Then using my transform tool, I'm going to shrink that down. Then I'll right click and come to distort. And then we can line it up with each corner of this plane of our trunk. That way it's in the same perspective. This is what's going to give it that realistic look is when everything is in the correct perspective. Now let's go ahead and paste in another one. Bring that down. Right click, come to distort. And let's go ahead and drag this into the corners over here. Perfect. All right. Next, let's go ahead and paste in another one. And we're going to add this to the top. The top is going to be just the same. And I right click, come to distort, and we'll drag it into each corner of the top plane. Go ahead and hit enter to solidify that. Then I'm going to go ahead and do this last plane over here. So we'll distort. Now because we don't actually have the corners of our plane, we just have to kind of guesstimate it. So I'm guessing about there and about there. Then I'm going to use my erase tool to erase away anything that isn't on the actual surface of my chest. Next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take all these wood grain texture layers we're going to select them all in our layers panel and then we'll merge those together. Then we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. Then we're going to bring down the opacity and that will just soften the look of our texture. Then I'm going to merge all of my layers together except for my background outline layers. I'm going to turn those off. So now my trunk is one layer. Next what we're going to do is we're going to add in a shadow on this right side of our trunk. So using my lasso tool, I'm going to go ahead and trace out where I want that dividing shadow line to be. So somewhere about here should be good. Once we get to this side, we can paint on the outside of it and you'll see why in a second. So now I'm going to select a dark bluish gray color. So I'm going to come down to about there, hit OK, and let's fill that in, maybe a little bit darker. All right, that should work. Next, what I want to do is I want to create a clipping layer mask. So now that I've created a clipping layer mask, everything is clipped off within that shape. Then I'm going to change my mode to overlay. I think that looks good. And then we can bring down the opacity to wherever we like. About there should be good. Perfect. Next, 
I'm going to change my background to gray just so we can see our next effect a little bit better. So I'm going to come down to that background layer, find a gray, and fill that in. Now I'm going to come up to my trunk layer, and I'm going to add an outer glow effect to it. And I'm going to change my color to a white color. Hit OK. Then I'm going to bring up the opacity. And I'm just going to mess with the settings until I get it looking the way I want. I want the size to be relatively small. I'm going to change my color to more of a yellow. Drag that more towards the saturated side. Hit OK. Perfect. I think this looks great. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in future tutorials. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll be sending many more videos like this your way. My name's Jason Batchelor, and thanks for watching.